Hello again. Right, so just a quick recap on what we're going to need for this. Some minced beef, I've got a kilogram there. A pepper, two small onions, or one medium. Two oxo cubes, ground ginger, pepper. Chinese fire spice, a bit of crushed chilli if you like a bit of spice. Worcestershire sauce, dark soy sauce. I use a bit of cider vinegar, but you can use white wine vinegar. Um, and clear honey. Also my fry light, I love a bit of fry light. So you're going to start by heating up the pan, gas mark 5, bit of fry light, don't need massive amounts because there's quite a bit in the mince. Okay, and whilst that's heating up, make sure we've got everything else ready. We're going to put on the right hob in the first place, would be good. Okay, so once that's nice and hot, chuck in your mix. This literally takes 15 20 minutes to cook. It's brilliant, brilliant little recipe. Okay, so once that's cooking, So once your mince is being done, you can start sorting your rice out. I go through about 500 grams of rice on a, any meal for my family, because we're quite big. I always rinse it, but a little tip here to get the starch out quicker, is if you can run some hot, a little bit of hot water in there with a the cold, it makes the starch come out so much easier. Not so it's really, really hot, just so it's like tepid, and it gets the starch out so much easier. And I'll do that a couple of times. Okay, so this is the second time I'm mincing it through now. Got a bit of warm. And it just gets all that starch out. Just give it a good mix up. Like so, and that'll do. And I'll find it stops it being so stodgy as well if you clean the rice first. Once you rinse your rice, you want to get your water on to boil. You don't want to do the rice from cold. You want it to be boiling before you get your rice in there. It just makes it so much better, otherwise it goes all stodgy and horrible. So I've got mince cooking, and I've got water on the boil for the rice. As soon as that boils, I'll chuck the mince in, uh, not the mince, the rice, and uh, let that cook on. So I'm going to start prepping all, this, all the veg now. Okay, so stirring your mince around occasionally, I'm breaking those lumps up then get your veg prepped. So all I'm using on this recipe is onions, peppers. To be fair, I use a lot of onions and peppers anyway. So similar to my previous recipe, the meatballs, you just want to dice it up. It doesn't have to be so small this time because it's nice to be in the thing. Also, I forgot to get them, spring onions I'd like to put in. Just before I serve up, I'll put, cut some spring onions up chuck them in the mince and leave it to cook out for a couple of minutes and it just adds another new element to the dish. So I'm going to get all this pre prepped up and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. I've got all my veg prepped and the mince is virtually cooked. So as you can see it's virtually all pink, all the pink's gone. That's all nice and brown. So what I intend to do here, before it's completely cooked, you see all that juice that's come out from the mince there. I want to keep that in there if I can. All, all the juice there, sorry. That was terrible filming. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just chuck all the veg in that I've prepped. This is just such an easy meal. It's brilliant, okay? Stir that around a bit. And then what we're going to do now is get the sauce, the flavourings, the additions. Um, going to get the additions mixed up, ready to go in once the onions are cooked. Okay, so what we're going to do now? Love this meal. It's so nice, so simple, and it's really, really tasty. Too. So, a couple of spoons of honey. Yeah, 
is all that that I'll be in there. About two tablespoons roughly. Again, this honey from all these is about a pound a jar. And I'll get quite a few meals out of that. Okay, I'm going to crush in. The beef fox though. So again, you can do it so that you crush, crush it in the actual wrapper. It makes less mess, and it's just the way we go like that. All right. Okay. At this point, I always make a half a pint of beef boxo stock because it doesn't tend to go a bit dry if you don't keep on top of it. So I'll get that going as well. So everything's cooking up nicely now, it's all beginning to break down, the mince is cooked through, the water's beginning to boil for the rice. Okay, I'll put in a bit of crushed chilli. Also I've got kids, so I don't have it too spicy. I only put in about half a spoon, but it does enhance it. The flavour. I think it enhances the flavour. Nothing massive. Then I'm going to put in a couple of tablespoons of cider vinegar. I haven't got a tablespoon, so I'll use three desserts, which is fine. Some black pepper. This is the important one. Ginger. I put in two tablespoons of ginger. Teaspoons, sorry, not tablespoons, that'll be loads, way too much. One, two, and Chinese five spice, I put in about half a teaspoon. So about half a teaspoon there. Okay, then we add in some Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons. And one spoon of dark soy sauce. And that, my friends, is give it a good mix. It does take some mixing though. It's pretty much it, and it's got such a lovely smell just to that sauce, that flavour in there that we've made. And it tastes so good once it's all mixed up. Generally about half a pint of stock made up, not massive amounts. Okay, so my onions and peppers are pretty much cooked now. All the mince is cooked through. So, all my onions and peppers are all cooked, it's all nice and clear. All the mince is cooked. My rice is near enough to boil, my water for my rice is nearly boiling. And there's my mix for the flavouring. Lump of ginger in there that won't break down. Again, all, all the herbs in Aldi's, like I said on my last video, about 65p each from Aldi's. The honey's about a pound. The cider vinegar, you can use apple vinegar or white wine vinegar. Again, probably about £1.20 from Aldi's. One twenty for the fry light. 67p for the chilies, pound for the sauce, 71p for the soy sauce, and because you're using it lots, you could probably make this meal for about six and a half pounds, seven pounds. The most expensive ingredient, obviously, is the mince. So that goes in, and then it always the honey and that sticks at the bottom, so I get a bit of a stock that I've made, and that just helps melt the honey. That's any anything that's left in there, then that goes in too. All right, so we're going to give that a good mix, and the colour will change. The fragrance is phenomenal. The smell is amazing. I love it. If only we had smell of vision. So by the point you've done that, your water should be boiling for your rice. Now, best way of cooking rice if you have problems. I mean, it took me a while to about well, it. Didn't but some people, you put in 
my mum was one of them to be fair. You'd always put in rice from cold and it, it don't cook very well. But if you do it when it's boiling, it cooks a lot quicker, it cooks nicer. So what I intend to do is chuck my rice in, like salt, and only stir the rice when you first put it in. Put the lid back on to bring it to the boil. Then once it's boiling again, take the lid off, leave it on full, unless you've got gas, you might have to turn it down a little bit. But I'm on electric here. And then that will take about 12 minutes. You don't want the rice cooked all the way through. You want it slightly hard, because by the time you've served it up, it will um, finish cooking out on the plate. So back to my meal. Oh, the smell on that, oh, love it. it. Smells so good. I love ginger anyway, but it is such a nice meal idea. And again, like I said, it takes 15, 20 minutes to make. So I'll get back to you once I've done this bit. So as you can see, it's been cooking for a couple more minutes now. And uh, it's gone a bit dry, so this is where the stock comes in handy. It's going to add in a little bit at a time. I don't want massive amounts. I, it's not a wet dish as such. You just need a, a little bit of liquid in there to cook. To add when you put, put it on top of the rice so it's not so dry. Okay, so once you're at that point, you can turn it down to probably about a low middle heat and just leave that cooking out. And by the time that rice is done, that will be perfect. Right, so this is about three minutes on. The sauce is getting quite thick, it's quite nice. That's because of the honey. Um, and also, the rice is bubbling away, so it's the second time I stir and I'll just leave that now until it's finished. So I've just tasted it, and it tastes like it's missing a little something, so what I've done is I've put in two sweeteners from just what you have in your tea or coffee, and that helps bring out the flavors as well. So, it's been about 18 minutes now, and the beef is cooked lovely. There's not a lot of sauce, but there is some. I'm gonna get the heat off that, and the rice, is great so the way to check it is get a piece break it in half i'm gonna see if i can get a good angle you see it's just all white and fluffy on the outside but the inside slightly hard still so that'll probably take about another one minute but by the time i've drained it and put it on the plates that'll be cooked through and it'll be lovely no stodgy rice here so there it is Hope you enjoy it guys, Put, give us a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, um, let us know what you think of the recipe. If there's anything you'd like to try, let me know and I'll see if I can rustle up a recipe for it. So it's all about cooking good meals on a decent budget, on a low budget. So give, keep me, give us a shout.